Good afternoon, guys. It's Marshall's Minute. I didn't do it yesterday because, well, I was absorbed in Facebook marketing fun. But today, and plus I was thinking about what I, you know, what was has been going on for me this week in this experience of growing um, and, and sharing where I'm at uh, in the beyond codependency spectrum. And this week it's really... I had a closure technique done on me. I went through a closure session with one of my apprentices on Thursday and we cleared out a lot of, I found a lot of closure with specific events uh, related to my mother's death and really profound specific moments that happened during and after that. And the after effect of this has really brought me some interesting awareness that builds on with what I talked about last week and building in this idea of becoming aware and becoming embodied more in who we are um, because that's really seems to be the theme lately for me is to be being invited to embody me more but in a very specific kind of energy an energy that is bright and up and expansive that I don't have a whole lot of deep relationship with that's that's kind of the fascinating thing about this it's when we're healing and we're growing and we're expanding, we, we, we enter these little pockets of, of comfort, these little comfort zones develop. And while this is a very different comfort zone than the previous one we've been dealing with, it's not actually, and it feels really good and, and it's very expansive, we, we see really positive results from it, there's still something else to touch that's a little larger for us. And that's what's really been um, coming back to me is is Marshall are you scared of being happy are you scared of taking on happiness again allowing yourself to receive more of what you want and that this is a pretty common theme actually for uh, survivors of abuse survivors of significant loss Um, when we start to when we've gone from a place where we had things that mattered to us that uh, we'd accomplished that were valuable to us and we lose those things Then we come back to a place, we we develop a fear, rather, an anxiety towards having those things again because we don't want to go through the loss again. And so this is the question that's been coming up for me after this closure session I went through is, are you you scared of being happy again? Are you you scared of reaching out into those things you really, really want now? Because I've gotten a lot of the things I do enjoy, but now my body, my awareness, my intuition is asking me to to receive more, to expand beyond the comfort zone I've been in for the past two years and, and reach into a deeper connection with my own joy and my own purpose as a person, not just as a, a mentor to you guys or a business professional, but really as who I am. And you, I've, this is a common theme I, I've seen both with myself and with clients is we we basically fill up the comfort zone and then we start to expand beyond it and it's always about returning back to us back to an honesty with ourselves it's like well who am i now where am i going with these things now in my life what what do i want to experience what do i want to feel and that's where i start i don't start with with like a material experience i start with a question about what do i want to feel right what brings me joy now what what or what is the feeling that i want to embody and that's that's what this closure session is really asking me to look at now is you got this big stuff out of the way now you're willing to receive your happiness again are you willing uh, to lean back into that innocence into that playful childlike energy to that beauty and brilliance that you are and let yourself receive what shows up with that energy that's a really, for me, a very vulnerable place. There's, there's some intensity to it because now it's, it's about restoring deeper connection and um, play. And for us as, as you know, recovering codependents, <laughs> play, play can be pretty scary because often play was taken from us. We weren't allowed to play. We were criticized when we play. We're told we're selfish or, or we're wasteful, right? making those messes and wasting all this time and money or energy on the stupid thing you're doing but that you find joy through and um it, that 
that's important for us to realize that play is, is actually part of who we are. It's part of our uh, happiness. The, the, the deep joy that we want in life really does come from that energy of play. And so I invite you to come along with my little expansion here. Are you scared of your happiness? Let's explore that together. I might make that next week's theme uh, for the group, but really that's where I'm coming from. That's what I'm experiencing right now is this invitation to let go of the fear and receive a little more of what brings me joy that doesn't necessarily um, mean anything to anybody else, but really it's just about me. You'll notice in your healing that you do, it becomes me-centered and then it becomes us-centered because we start developing healthy reciprocal relationships. And But it always starts with you first, not you only, that's narcissistic is you only. Codependent is, is or narcissistic is me only, codependence is you only, and then interdependence is us, me and you. And it needs to be in that order so we make sure our happiness and our well-being is maintained. So, yeah, that's where I'm coming from, is this interesting exploration of happiness. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens over the next little while. Usually these things take about a month to three months to really expand. So we'll find out what happens together. I'll share it here in, my, in these Marshall Minutes. And so, yeah, something to think about there. That's what's been expanding in my reality, guys. Um, so, yeah, thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for sharing yours. Thank you for answering the question I put up today in the group. Uh, because we really need to get deep on what we really want beyond the codependency, beyond the healing, because that's, that's the whole point, right? <laughs> Why else should, would we do all this very painful work? So, okay, thank you guys again. I appreciate you. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next week.